The latest 2016 release of DDM includes a couple of enhancements within the client itself. The first that we're going to look at is related to the CAD application. Now within DDM, when we're working with our CAD application, we have the opportunity to create neutral file formats. And if we have a look in DDM Admin under the System and CAD tab, we can see the available neutral file formats that can be created as attachments. Now these are not complete for all CAD applications. For example, if we're working with Creo Parametric, we currently don't have the ability to automatically create a step attachment. So if we want to create a step attachment, we need to create this manually. This new release allows us to do this. So if we return to DDM and open a model into our CAD application, from the CAD application, we can select to save a copy and to select our neutral format. In this case, I'm going to select step file. So if we save this to the working directory and select the options that we require, then we create a step file within the working directory. If we now open the properties of this model and go to the attachments tab, we can right click here and select to add a new attachment. So we're going to add our step file. So we browse in the working directory to the step file and then we have to confirm the attachment type that we're importing. And in this case, it's a step file. And now our step file is manually created and added to the part record in DDM. The other enhancement is if we take a look at a supplier folder and within this supplier folder we have some drawings. What we need to be able to do is to audit if our supplier downloads this drawing. Now in earlier versions of DDM we would only get an audit if the user actually downloaded the PDF preview for example from the DDM web client but it was still possible for the supplier to preview or to view the PDF without it being added to the audit record. So in this latest 2016.5 release of DDM, if a supplier views the PDF, then this is also included in the audit history. So let's take a look at how this is added to the audit trail. So if we log into the web client as our supplier, And if we search in the supplier folder, and if we select to view the drawing PDF, then as soon as the supplier has viewed the PDF, this will be added to the audit of this drawing in DDM. So if we now have a look at the audit, we can see that the drawing was viewed via the web client. So two enhancements in the 2016.5 release of DDM.